So I'm so excited to talk to you guys. Um, what a wonderful job you guys both did on this series. And I'm just, just to kick things off, I'm curious, had you heard about this show beforehand? And did you watch any of the animation while you were prepping for the role? Or did you leave, put your trust in Albert's hands? Yeah, well, okay. Uh, unlike Daniel, I didn't work on the original animated series. Um, uh, actually, so in 2005, it came out. Uh, I'd heard of it, but I didn't watch it. Um, and then I had a friend of mine, Phil Casmate, actually. She'd watched it with her son and said, you need to watch this series. Like, it's fantastic. And I thought, oh, yeah, okay, cool. So I watched it, fell in love with it, was completely over the moon. And then shortly after, I got fan cast uh, as Iroh. And I was like, oh, my God, that's amazing. I love Iroh. Uh, but I couldn't do it because I was working on another show. And I thought, well, you know, maybe one day. And then that maybe one day actually happened. Uh, and so, yeah, no, it's a huge fan of the series. Uh, I was totally um, like, I, I was excited to do it, but also a little bit nervous because big shoes to fill and the high, high, high set of expectations. But, you know, Albert was a, a, a fantastic leader, mm. uh, tremendous calming influence, somebody who was a fan of the series, who cared, the attention to the detail, the, the uh, team that he pulled together to do it just made it so much easier for all of us who are stepping into this world and, and knowing that there was a there was a you know a great responsibility to to really live up to the animated series. Amazing. Well I mean I'm very curious. I'm gonna start with Daniel first. Um Ozai is in the show he's more of a one note character. I would say he's quite you know he's he's just a bad father i would say is a very easy way of describing him but how did you endeavor to make him more complex in this series you know i especially when you see um your scenes with uh with with his kids it's just like there's there's a complexity to to your performance and i'm curious as to how you dug into that thanks uh yeah i mean i don't think he thinks of himself as a bad father you know i think he thinks of himself as someone who's trying to guide his children uh, and uh, he may not be equipped to do it the right way, or he may feel like the way he's doing it is the way it must be done. Uh, so uh, I just thought of him in those terms, you know, like how he wants his son to succeed him, and how can he best get him to do that, given what he sees as a soft nature, as a forgiving nature, as a, with a, as a compassionate nature. So I think he is actually trying to do, to achieve his objective in the, with the tools he has. And unfortunately, you know, they may not be the most uh, uh, compassionate tools, and, and, but it's also why it's, it's so fantastic for Zuko that he has someone like Iroh in his life. And mm -hmm. so, in many ways, if you think about the relationship between the children and parents in this in the entire series, they're complicated. They're all complicated, and it is like parenting. They're you know, you can't say what is what right for one parent and child is right for all parents and children. It's it's a real it's a really complicated balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I mean, especially um, Paul. I mean, playing Iro, he's. First of all, one of the most beloved characters in the series. Um, he acts as like sort of a father figure for Zuko. But I'm curious, you know, when you're playing this character, is there an aspect of embodying him that you felt like was a particular challenge to take on when it comes to his his persona? Uh, no, just because in my career, <laughs> I've had the I've had the luxury of playing dads who are either estranged from their sons or have lost their sons and whatnot. And so as a dad myself, I sort of leaned into that whole relationship with Zuko. And Iroh is at this point because he's lost his son, Luten, and it has devastated him and has changed the entire his entire outlook on life and how things should be. Like he was supposed to be the next Fire Lord and he gave everything up, right? And so when he sees Zuko in as much pain and he sees the compassion and love that Zuko has, he wants to nurture that. And so he is there to guide him because he never wants to lose a, a loved one in that manner again. And so it was it's great sort of being able to play a character like that because you know the relationship between Zuko and I was very very special and important to the entire series mm -hmm. and uh it, it was an absolute pleasure to like work with Dallas 
who is an awesome human being, who is a fantastic actor, who is just as wonderful in real life. The whole world's going to fall in love with this Zuko because it's such a complex and conflicted story and character. It's great. Um, and so it, it's fun to lean into that, you know, and to be that sort of a, a little bit of comic relief, but as well, like what we really played up was the emotionality between the two and the deep, deep love and affection that, that Iroh has for Zuko. Um, and so, yeah, it's an honor to play something like that. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's, that makes it easy because that's, that's the relationship. And if that's there and it's authentic, everything takes care of itself. So yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't that difficult in that sense because Dallas made it easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I definitely, you can feel that bond, um, in the performances and I just want to, you know, follow up with that. Oftentimes when actors are working with younger actors or new actors coming into the industry, you know, um, more seasoned actors can offer, advice, but I'm curious, is there anything that you guys learned while working with um, both Dallas and Elizabeth that you, a lesson that you hadn't learned, had, you, you didn't know until you worked with them? I would say that sometimes it takes someone who is coming into the business uh, without that much experience to, in, to remind people who have been in the business a long time that there is joy in the work and that there is that excitement and coming in every day and and having it be new again mm. uh you know and seeing it through their eyes like you know and in zuko's case you know with that scar that what color is that scar is that is that aubergine uh, anyway that, that scar uh seeing it through those fresh eyes makes it fresh for people like me as well like because i then remember what it was like to be new and in the way that we can guide them they can also remind us mm -hmm. uh of of that that kind of newness and and potential that they have and that's what both paul and i see in so many of those kids like they're just starting their journey right now they're, they have such great things awaiting them hardships as well yeah. but you know if they can do it right it's it's they're in for a great ride well that's a fantastic answer and unfortunately i don't have any more time with you mm -hmm. um i am very very pleased with this series and i'm very glad to talk with you guys about it and i can't wait for people to watch it as well thank mm -hmm. you thank, <laughs> thank you, you.